What are you? Rune of Telekinesis. Obi Kinu. Okay. Okay, apparently that puts water in here. My journal's been updated. At the Libra source. There seems to be a source of water in that tunnel, but I can't get there. If I don't know how to get there yet, there's no point in wasting time here. What's that supposed to mean? Can I get into this water or something? Yegamedi? <laughs> no. I would really love to get some health right now. Does this do anything? Because it's not lit up. Tial Uda. I see. So this seems to be some kind of weight puzzle. A la lethal weapon. Anything over here? No. I really, really need some health. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure what this is all about. Some random markings. And I'm stuck in a pot. I think I'm stuck over here in general. That's great. <laughs> Uh, can't get out of here. Hey, developer, this is a glitch. Maybe you should fix that. All right, well, I guess I have to reload because I can't do anything now unless I can jump back here, which doesn't look like it. Obi Can I jump on a pot? I cannot. So, yeah, I'm literally stuck back here. Gotta move that statue just a little touch to the side and then I could get out of here again. Some people are gonna jump back here, developer. You gotta remember that. Okay, well, we're back here. I turned that thing on again. I don't know if that's gonna matter. Is there like a shut door? Yeah. Tialuda. This looks like this goes out to the pain area again. That's not good. Is that water? That is totally water over there, isn't it? I need that. Yega Medi. There's a map over here and everything. Okay, so we are here. Which... Now I get it. It is, um... Not uh, a scale of justice. It is rather the water puzzle up there. So that must mean that that is another water puzzle over there. And we need to get to Fireland, because with my new stasis spell, those platforms make sense now. Is there anything else around here? Lume Tiao. Aha. I want to be of use. Hey you, reading this, my name is Misa. I am ten years old and I live with my mom and dad in the White City. Every day I have fun watching my dad work. He is so useful to everybody. He gives people food to eat and they love him. Hey, you reading this? My name is Misa. I'm ten years old. I live with my mom and dad in the White City. Every day, oh, it changes a little bit. Every day I have fun watching my mom working. She is so useful to everybody. She cures people and they love her. Are you reading this? Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, I want to be useful like my mom and dad. That way people will love me too. But I don't know how to do anything. Today I decided to go around and see if I can be useful to anyone. I walked through the market streets all morning shouting, I can be useful. But nobody paid me any attention. All afternoon, uh, I walked through the streets of town shouting, I can be useful no attention. All evening I walked around. Still nobody paid attention. Nobody needed me and nobody cared about me. On my way home I saw a father and a child beside him. A fountain. Uh, I wanted to give it one last try, so I said, 
I can be useful. The child and the father turned around. Finally, I thought, <clears throat> maybe I can be useful to them. Oh, what fortune! I'd almost given up hope on finding a child for my son, said the father with hope in his eyes. It seems there aren't any more children in town. They've all gone home. Would you like to have dinner with us this evening? It would make my son so happy. Finally, I had the chance to be useful. I was overcome with joy. I couldn't hold it in and skipped along beside them as I listened to the boys' questions. Soon after, we arrived at their house. What a lovely house. Big, on two floors with high ceilings. Do you want to make yourself useful, Misa? Asked the father at the table. Sure, that's what I... <clears throat> that's what I want the most, that every... That way everyone will love me, I answered cheerfully. Good, so you'll get along well with my son. He really needs someone like you. Something about this has rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, his words made me happier than I'd ever felt before. I'm here with the boy now. Finally, I'm useful. Finally, people love me. Finally, I'm happy. Now, reader, I'm sorry, but I can't write anymore. The boy has just finished tasting my intestine. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, I realized it was rubbing me the wrong way a little bit up there. Intestines, and now he would like to try a little bit of my arm. Actually, I really don't feel up to writing, but it doesn't matter because I'm useful, 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 useful. Yeah. Okie dokie. Random cannibals in the town, apparently. That's just great. Is there anything over here? Lume Tial. There's a load of nothing. Alright, well, now that I have health, I would really like to save. Because that is a much, much better save than I had before, where I was on the brink of death. Okay, so now I need to go back to Fireland. Let's figure out where we are. So if I go out from here, then I need to take a turn immediately and go down. We'll be back at the platform area. And then if I go down further, we'll be at this area where we can't go in. And then we'll go up and around. All right. Turn immediately. Atul Agni. Hmm. What was the spell again? I am spacing it. Uda no Tim. Okay. Uda no Tim. Yega Medi. I guess when you reload, those guys come back. Or maybe they just come back after you finish some of the puzzles. I don't know. So anyway, we are here now. We're getting closer. Just need to loop around. And we'll be getting there. Yega Medi. Or Mide. You know, it works. Yega me day. You know, it really doesn't matter what I say. It still works. Yega me day. Atul Agni. Uda no Tim. Uda no Tim. Yeah, that does not kill them. Atul Agni Yega Medi Uda no Tim Good night, sweet dragon prince. I believe this is where we need to be. I think there's some water down here so we can just heal up.
Now that the thing actually opens, Yega Mide. Let you little shits pass on by. Because then I don't have to deal with you. And that's good for me. Tialuda. Let's make sure that that's actually on. I know it opened and all, but come on. And you guys are back. Very bright. Atul Agni. Miss. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. Gotcha. Gotta lead him a bit. Uda no Tim. Atul Agni. Very much a miss. Atul Agni. Got him. Did not get him. Never mind. Thought I did because it looked like it was moving. Atul Agni. Atul Agni. There we go. Got him that time. Uda no Tim. Cool. Tiel Uda. Tiel Uda. Tiel Uda. Tiel Uda. Ectolume. Tiel Uda Tiel Uda Make it a little easier on my feet when coming down here. Obe Kenu Namet Ekto That's as far as that goes. I don't think that's actually over there. Yeah, I just put it in the lava. Great. And that destroys it, apparently. Tiel Uda. So it's a little rough getting it over there. I suppose I could just hang it in the air. Be easier. Tiel Uda. Tiel Uda. Ectolume. In fact, I might be able to pull that from down there, instead of going down there. Obey Kenu. No. I cannot. Uh... Yeah, maybe I should jump across before picking it up this time around. That's soft enough on my feet, it doesn't matter. Obe Kenu Opun Obi Obe Kenu Opun Obi Oh, come on. Obi Kenu Seriously? Obi Kenu Let's get around here and hop on this rock. There. Can I get up here now? Please. Thank you. What do we have? Ah, oh, they are Willow Wisps. <laughs> Willow the Wisp. 
since the temples are places imbued with magic. Not all beings that inhabit them are made of flesh and bones. Some are made of pure energy, such as the so-called Will-o'-the-Wisp. It is believed that they were once souls of sentient beings who decided voluntarily to serve the order after death. These are small floating spheres of light, and for this characteristic, they served primarily as guides, especially in the darkest and most remote depths. To carry out their tasks, they relied on the magical trails in the temple. And because of this, residues of abandoned and no longer needed magic could interfere with their work. As a result, part of their aim was to eliminate these harmful energies. So that's why they come after me when I've got my spell out, is because they're going after magic that they think shouldn't be there. Anyways, uh, with the fall and corruption of the temples, they now do not lead the pilgrims on safer paths, but wander aimlessly, attacking every source of magic, yep, there we go, and threatening to lead astray its bearer. Cool. Learning new things every day. Alright. Obi Kenyon. So now I need this thing to be up here. Nemet Ecto. Alright. I believe that is up there. So now I should be able to use it. Tiao Uda Tiao Uda Alright, so now I can use this as a stairway to get up there, I believe. Obi Kenu. Namet Ekto. Opun Obi. Holy shit. This is slightly frightening. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Ecto Lume. Still doesn't quite do it. I probably need to be up in the air. Tial Uda. Almost. I, think I need to be over here. Tial Uda. Sir. Oh. <laughs> Tial Uda. There is somewhere to go. Ectolume. There we go. Thought I had to do it while that thing was moving up and down. Apparently not so much. 